Good morning, Elena. Hi, Elena. Good morning. Good morning, Tisha. Hey, hello, Elena. Good morning. Good nice morning. to have you in the class. Sophie, hello. Good morning. Ivan. And the others. <laughs> and the others are sleeping, maybe. Morning. <laughs> hey, hi, Sophie. Hi, Ivan. How are you? Fine, fine. Very fine. fine. Okay, good. Nice to hear that. And you, Sophie, how was your night? It was good. Was good. Okay, nice. Did you sleep well? Yes, I, I sleep a lot. Ah, that's delicious. Okay, so that means that you didn't go to bed late, right? No. I, I maybe I went to the bed at <coughs> seven p.m. Seven. Yes, I oh. went. Oh my God, really? Wow. You slept a lot? And what time did you get up? Six. At six, okay. Wow, almost 12 hours. <laughs> That's good, huh? Congratulations. That's delicious. You know, when we, when we sleep a lot, we feel very energetic, okay? Because we, we rest a lot, okay? Well, good morning, right, Karen, Dalila. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining the class, right? Um, today, we're going to continue with yesterday's topic, right, to practice. And at the middle of the class, we are going to start with the next section, right? The, the, the next section, that is the section number five, okay, to finish the Okay, the course with these five sections. Okay, Carlita Joana, good morning. Hello, good morning. How are you, Joa? Happy? Yeah. Yes, very happy. <laughs> okay, that's great. Very good. Okay, guys, we are going to start with this uh, just to um, have a little quick reminder, okay, from what we did yesterday. Yesterday, we talked about perspectives, okay? So if you can remember about perspectives, right? Using the first conditional, okay? And if you remember, the first conditional was a if plus present, okay? Then you have a comma when you, when you write it, right? When you speak it, it's not necessary to mention it, okay? Plus the future. You can use different possibilities will, might, may, or be going to, okay? That's the structure that we're gonna practice, okay? We're gonna be practicing in today's class to uh, finish with this part, okay? I have here on the screen, I have here uh, different sentences, okay? And we are going to work right now with your partners, right, doing this, this exercise, right? But before we start doing this, okay, just to make sure everybody knows the structure, we're going to share the structure, okay? I'm going to type the structure here, okay? So just in case somebody didn't join the class yesterday, the simple present, okay? And then we have a, we have wheel, we have might, I said. Okay, then I have, okay, may, okay, or be going to. Okay, those are the, the different, um, the different uh, uh, models that you can use for this structure, right? And then we have plus, the verb, okay? That is the first conditional, okay? When you start with if. And yesterday we did some examples and now we are going to start with this one, right? I'm gonna give you one more and you help me please, okay? So for example, if 
Okay, let's let's start with uh, let's start with uh, third person. Okay, to practice. If Carlita, okay, uh, drinks a lot in a party, okay, that's it. This is the the first one that I have for you. Okay, if Carlita drinks a lot in a party, okay, what is the possible consequence that is going to happen? Okay, so yesterday I mentioned that you can use all these four structure uh, models, sorry, that I have um, that I have told you before. Okay, so let's start with the first one. If Carlita drinks a lot in a party, what do you think is the consequence, Karen? Think about the consequence, right? Think about the possible consequence of this situation. Um, maybe she mm -hmm. can uh, drive a car. Can, can you can you repeat, please? She can. Okay. So remember that when you use the this structure in present, and then the other one has to use, you have to use these models. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what is the negative for will? Want. Want, uh -huh. so you can say ella no podrá. She won't drive. Exactly, okay. So you say she won't. I I'm going to give you this structure. Maybe you don't know it. She won't be able to. Okay. Repeat, please. She won't. She won't be able to. Okay, very good. This is, okay, guys. Hey, teacher, and what is this? Won't be able to. Es como el futuro del poder. No podrá. Okay. That's it. Si usted quiere decir en inglés, yo podré, you say, I will be able to. Look. Yo podré. If you want to say, no podré, you say, I want, okay, be able to. Okay? That's it. So, in this case, it's Carlita. Si Carlita bebe mucho en una fiesta, ella no podrá conducir. Okay? So this is the, the, if you want to say yo podré or yo no podré, okay? This is the future for can, okay? This is the future for can, that's it. Okay, let's check, okay? Very good, uh, very good, Karen, okay, very nice. Now, I uh, give me another one. Carlita Beatriz, good morning. Morning, teacher. How are you? Um... I'm fine. Did you sleep Thanks. well? So-so. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, <laughs> so, oh my God, insomnia. Yes, Again. always. Ah, my God. Yeah, that's something natural. But <laughs> and you. If, a, if a kind a kind of life. <laughs> oh, yes, I see that. Oh yes. my God, but it's very <laughs> difficult. Mm, yes. It's, you, it's a hard. <laughs> it's hard, yes, I know yes. that. Okay. Well, Carlita, I'm talking about the other Carlita. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, because I, I don't. You don't drink. <laughs> I, yes, well, I don't. Say, like. I said this. I said drink a, a, a lot, but I didn't specify what. Uh -huh. Maybe Coca Cola. <laughs> of course, uh -huh. Coca Cola with rum. <laughs> okay. Mm. Give me other. Uh, give me other um, a consequence. If Carlita uh, drinks a lot in a party. Um. Um, oh, uh, she, she may, mm -hmm. she may have uh, a headache. Okay, very good. Okay, mm -hmm. she may have a headache. Okay, excellent. Very good. Mm -hmm. That's the other consequence about this situation. Okay, so this is what we are going to do. Okay, this is what you are gonna do, but now you are gonna do it, okay, with the exercise that I am presenting, okay? So I'm gonna ask, okay, Exa, good morning, Exa. Can you please read the structures, Exa? Extra, Exa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, morning, morning, Exa. How was your night? Everyone, um, I slept at. 9 30. 11, 9 30. Wow, exa. Congratulations. You usually go to bed at midnight or 11. 
Yes, uh, I was very tired, so. And Sophie went to bed at seven? Wow, so today, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so today's, today's uh, pious students are very active because they slept well. Well, no, Carlita. <laughs> okay, Exita, can you please read the, the, the instructions, please? Uh, pay work. Can you find two consequences for each pos possible situation? Mm -hmm. Complete the chart with information from the list. Okay, read the list, please. Communicate in a different language. Earn your own spending money. Experience mm -hmm. culture shock. Feel yellow something sometimes. Mm -hmm. Getting get in shape. Getting get into a good college. Get mm -hmm. married. Get valuable work experience. 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 Improve your grades. Pay membership dues. Okay, very good. Pay membership dues. That did is it. Uh, 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 when you go to a gym sometimes, right? Okay. Or you go to a university and you have to pay memberships or any kind of course, right? Okay. This is what you are going to do. There are different uh, situations here. What is the number one? Carlita, Joana, can you please read the situations, Carlita? Joan? Yes, falling in love. Uh -huh. what, I'm sorry, can you repeat? Falling in love. Falling in love. Second one? Get a part-time job. Very good. Next? Join a gym. Join a gym. Uh -huh. Next? Move to a foreign country. Very good. And the last one? It's study very hard. Okay, excellent. Very good. These guys, okay, are the situations. So you are going to make here first, what you have to do is to put this, okay, um, I'm going to, I'm going to highlight this. Okay, you are going to put this, okay, list into the correct space. For example, falling law. In this list, there are two consequences of falling in love. What are the consequences for falling in love? Feel yellow sometimes. Feel yellow sometimes. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Toxic. <laughs> Feel yellow sometimes. So what you have to do here is this, okay? feel this is what you have to do okay jealous okay sometimes that's it okay very good other consequence get married get married oh get married okay well if you fall in love a lot okay very good that's it very nice okay this is what you have to do when you have the consequences my friends then you have to make the sentence complete using, okay, the first conditional. Si vos te enamoras, o si tú te enamoras, te vas a poner celoso alguna vez, okay? So, can someone help me, please, to make the sentence number one? Um, if you fall in love, mm -hmm. Um, uh, you you may mm -hmm. feel you may feel jealous sometimes. Excellent, very good. If you fall in love, you may feel jealous sometimes. Great, okay, very nice. Remember, you can use may, might, will. Okay, um, be going to, in positive or negative, depending on the perspective, okay? This is the number one. So then you continue with get married. Then get a part-time job and you have to look in the list, okay? What is the, uh, what are the consequences for get a part-time job? What are the consequences for join a gym? What are the consequences for move to a foreign country and so on, okay? Take a screenshot, please, right now, or a picture. I'm going to give you 10 seconds. Please do it. 
Okay, and we are going to start working in this part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we are going to start working, guys. I'm going to give you, okay, uh, right now the time. I'm going to give you the, the sentences are very easy. Remember, don't do the sentences uh, written. No, only complete the table. And when you have the table, you speak. You do the sentence here in your in mind, okay? I'm going to be checking uh, some of you, okay? So remember, first the present and the second one, Joa, the future, okay? With the structure that we studied yesterday. And also at the beginning of the class, I gave you the structure again okay if you need help let me know and i will help you go ahead guys Get the part time job. Mm. Here you are um, spending money. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the second. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you? <laughs> we are completing Good. the table. Perfect. <laughs> Um, get value work experience, I think so. Ah, yes, get valuable work experience. experience. Uh, join a gym, well, pay membership. Mm -hmm. Membership dues. Mm -hmm. And time for the bread. Membership. Membership. Mm -hmm. Just. Teacher, what um, what mean shape? Shape like this, Gavin. Look at me. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> like uh. Jennifer Lopez, <laughs> getting shape. Como, como. <laughs> like this. Getting shape. Uh huh. Getting shape. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Figurita. Exactly. Okay. It doesn't mm -hmm. say shape of what? <laughs> Maybe in the shape of a bottle of alpina water. Uh, <laughs> teacher. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I'm joking, okay. Like a Coca-Cola. Uh -huh. <laughs> but but what two liters? <laughs> Okay, okay, let's fall in love in uh -huh. Move to foreign country. Uh, communicate. Uh, uh, communicate in a different language. Very good. Um, the three join a gym. Join a gym. Mm. Dame un segundo. You will Hi, teacher. Hello, Frank. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. Are you okay? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm very fine. Okay, I'm checking great. right now. Get a part-time job. Get value work. Yeah, just say, just, yeah, just say, just say we are talking, but I, I need great. 
In this so, part, in this part, you have to 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 type the correct consequence. When you have the okay. consequence, then you make the sentences here. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 The party time is. What is the other one? Ahorita t-shirt. Hey, let me check. You work, get value work experience is the first one, right? Yes. Check. Second one is. O only one re uh, request. T-shirt. Two, two uh, consequences. Ah, mm -hmm. two consequences. Okay. Two, okay. Mm -hmm. two per, per category. Okay. Getting to a good colleague, maybe? Uh -huh. College. 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 Very good. Mm. Getting to a good college. In this case, college is not school. Okay, college. School. No, oh, this yeah. is university. Colega. No. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Es, es universidad. Uh -huh. yeah. University. Uh -huh. In in your own spending money, T-shirt. I'm sorry. Uh, in your own. In your earn your own spending money. Uh, this is ganar tu propio. Dinero. dinero. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, dinero que gastar, right? mm -hmm. okay, this is the, the second. Uh -huh. so, okay. Okay. Yes. Earn, yes. uh -huh, that's it. El de el del, la universidad es el otro, el, el, sí, de, el, no. el de study hard. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Earn your own spending. spending Spending money. Mm -hmm. Money. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Now, Karen, can you make okay. like, like Francisco? Oh, yeah, like Francisco. <laughs> He's single. <laughs> oh. Join a gym. Okay. Join a gym. Okay. okay. Uh, join okay. a gym is a. Uh... Excellent. Continue, please. Okay. Uh... Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hola, Hi, Carlita. Hi. Se escucha lejos, Sofi. Ajá. Ay, ayer y no sé qué audífonos o estás con los speakers de la compu? Estoy con, lo, con la computadora, los speakers de la compu, pero desde Ah, ahí. quizás. Pero y siempre sí. pon, tenés audífonos, no, nunca. A veces, pero como desde hace una semana no los ocupo. Mm. Try to check que se escucha bien lejos, fíjate. Bueno, se escucha, ahorita se escucha, pero tenéis que poner atención un poquito. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, Carlita, what do you have there with Dalila? Uh -huh. Hello, Dalila, Dalila, ya no habla. Hello. Hi, how are you? Lo, lo mismo le dije yo. Sí, hombre, yo esperando mi tacos, pero ven. ¿no? <risa> hoy ya soy más cerca, tichero, y si ya me mudé. Oh, no way. Va. Sí, no sí. excuses, my friend. No excuses. <risa> Exacto. <risa> oh, my God. Now you live very near. <risa> Let's go five minutes away from my house. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, you see? Okay, very nice. Excellent. Okay, what do you have in get a part-time job? What are the two consequences for get a part-time job? Let me check. Let me see here. Here you want spending money. Okay, uh huh. Earn your own spending money. Very good. What is the other one? When you have your work, your job. So what is the other one? Earn your own spending money. Okay, this is the first one. Okay, hey. experience culture shop. All right. Mm -hmm. Getting shape. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> yes, to be a yo como yo. If I have a job, I will be getting Uh huh. So, what about this one? Look. It says get married. No. No. Uh -huh. When you get a job, immediately you get married. No, 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 no. You need to be stable. Uh -huh. But what about this one? Get valuable work experience? Mm. What do you think? This, this consequence is for move to foreign country. 
No, this get valuable work experience is for get a part-time job. ¿Y qué significa? Este es como obtener experiencia laboral. Uh -huh. Eh, buena experiencia, o sea, valuable quiere decir algo val valoro que, que, se, que, que, que valora uh, esa, esa experiencia uh, ¿ah? va valuable, algo que, que, que es, es bueno ok so, ay, que todavía estoy dormida y veo get a part time job <ríe> y es part -time. ah no, a part time job <ríe> Sí, porque va a agarrar experiencia en una fiesta. No, part-time. Ah, ahora entiendo todo. Ajá. Porque nos quedábamos calladas, creo que estamos dormidas. Dalila te leyó lo mismo. No, no, Dalila ahí dice. No. Get a pizza, va Dalila. Okay. We are, we are sleepy and hungry, okay? <laughs> okay. So in get a part-time okay. job, you have two, right? The number one yes. is earn your own spending money. And the second one yes. is get valuable work experience, okay? Join mm -hmm. a gym, okay? Now tell me, in join a gym. Pay member guys. Dues, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Pay membership dues. Excellent. And the other? When you go to a gym, what is the consequence? Uh -huh. Membership dues. Uh -huh. Pay membership dues. Uh -huh. This is the number one. And the second one? Get in shape. Get in shape. Uh -huh. Very good. This is ponerse en forma. Yes, a little bit better, Sophie. Mucho mejor. Okay. Get in shape. Ponerse en forma, Ajá, get in shape. Ahora, no dicen forma de qué. <risa> ok. De... <risa> forma de, de botella de agua alpina. <risa> de garrafón. Ah, no, ah, bueno, no. O salvacola, right? <risa> We don't know, but this is the consequence, ok? Ok, ah, ok. The, the other one is move to a foreign country. Ajá, move to a foreign country. Tell me the two consequences more. Communicate in a different language. Excellent. Communicate in a different language. And experience, culture, culture. Uh -huh. experience, culture, shock. Very good. Ah, when you don't know what to do in a different culture. Imagine if you travel to Japan. <laughs> yes, ah. it's going to be completely different to El Salvador. I will be happy. <laughs> yeah, you will be happy, but the first month or the first year, yes. maybe you will have culture shock. Culture shock rap. is like, ah, y esto por qué lo tengo yeah. que hacer y esto no, ajá, uh -huh. so this is because your culture is different, ajá, uh -huh. and the last one, girls, uh, study very hard, uh, uh, getting into a good college, ajá, uh -huh. get into a good college, a good university, ajá, uh -huh. and what about the other one, improve your grade, Excellent. Improve your grades. Uh -huh. Very good. Now, you make the sentences, right? Si tú estudia duro mucho, tú vas a poder entrar a una buena universidad. So, let's try, Carlita. Uh, if you study very hard, uh -huh. uh -huh, I What is the meaning improve your grade? Improve es mejorar. Mejorando su grade. Uh, mejorar sus, no, sus notas, grade. Ah, you uh -huh. will improve your grade. Excellent, grade. excellent. You will improve your grades. Uh -huh. Remember, you can use will, you can use may, might, may. or be going to. Okay? Okay, yeah. very good. So, now that you have this, we're going to make the sentences in the main class. Okay? Thank you. Great. Okay, thank you. Okay, now it's time for you to give me the sentences, okay? Let's start with the number one. Uh, I will ask uh, some, well, the number one was an example, right? I remember, okay. In here, you have fall in love and get married, right? Number one, if you fall in love, you might 
you might, okay, what is the consequence here? You might feel jealous sometimes, okay? Gabby, give me the second one, please. Get married. Um, get married in the other consequence, feel jealous sometimes. Or okay. the second, ah, okay. The second, the second sentence with if, please. Ah, okay. Uh, if you fall in love, mm -hmm. uh, you you will feel jealous sometime. Ah, no, get married. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, double toxic. <laughs> <laughs> you will get jealous, you will get married. Uh -huh. Oh my God. Uh -huh. You will check your husband's cell phone every day. <laughs> okay, you will get married. Excellent, uh -huh. very good. Get a part-time job. What do you have except for get a part-time job? What are the two consequences that you have? Uh, if you get a part-time job, you may earn, earn your own spending money. Okay, great. Uh -huh, very good. Mm -hmm. You may, might, will. Remember, you can use whatever. Uh-huh. And the second option? And if you get a part-time job, mm -hmm. you, you will get valuable work experience. Oh, okay. Very good. Very good. You will get valuable work experience. Great. Elena, tell me, join a gym, please, Elena. Join a gym. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Um, if if you if you uh, join a gym, mm -hmm. um, you will get in shape. Great, very good, Elena. Excellent. If you join a gym, you will get in shape. Excellent. Itzel, second consequence to join a gym, please. If you join a gym. Uh, you might mm -hmm. um, pay members membership dues. Excellent, very good. You will pay membership dues. Very good, excellent. Now move to a foreign country. Move to a foreign country, my friend Francisco. Tell me the first one, please. Number one, move to a foreign country. Frank, Francisco, Francisco. Hello, hello, hello. Sorry, hello. sorry, sorry. Okay, don't worry. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, okay, okay. Um, if you move uh, to a foreign country, may you may will communicate a different languages? Ah, okay, okay, okay. Can you repeat the sentence? The okay, second sentence? Uh, you may or you, you may will... Um, communicate a different language okay only choose only one please only one model may or will not together ah okay okay yeah uh, don't be goloso <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay only one only okay one. you may communicate a different language excellent very good much better uh-huh very good if you can okay. move to a foreign country you may communicate in a different language my friend okay. franklin okay the second consequence Okay. Um, if you to if you move to a foreign country, uh -huh. uh, you will um, uh, you will experience culture shock. Excellent, perfect. You will experience culture shock. Very nice, Araceli. Study very hard, Araceli. Study very hard. Okay. If um, if you study very hard, mm -hmm. um, may might improve your grades. Okay, okay. But remember, if you study very hard, you you have to repeat you, you will. again. Uh -huh. You will. I'm going to change. Okay. You will improve your grades. Excellent. Very good. Very, very good. Nice, Araceli. And the last one, Dalila, please. 
The last one that Lila is get into a good college. Mm -hmm. The Lila one. The Lila two. <laughs> Dalila three. When she was there. Where are you, Dalila? Okay. Well, uh, other volunteer, please, for the last one. Okay. If you study very hard, okay. Somebody, somebody, somebody. If you if if you study very hard. Mm -hmm. um, I, the college. Uh -huh. You will you will uh, you will get into a good college. Excellent. Very good. You will get into a good college. Okay. Very, very, very nice. Okay. So that's guys exactly what we have been practicing yesterday, right? And today about the if clause. Remember, this is for cause and effect when there is a consequence in something. Si está corriendo, te vas a caer, right? If you run very fast, you will fall off on the street, okay? Si no te callas, te... <laughs> ah, if you, okay, don't uh, zip your mouth, I will spank you, okay? So these are consequences of something, okay? If you don't finish the platform, hey, <laughs> you will have to pay. <laughs> this is the consequence, okay? So you see, and <laughs> Carlita, you're like, oh, it's true, it's true. Okay, so do the platform, right? That's it. Uh, this is if simple present with future. ¿Cuáles son las formas que voy a usar en futuro? Tell me. Will. 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 Other. Hey, may, 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 might, uh -huh. and sometimes going to, going oh, to, sometimes, uh -huh. be going to, very good, okay, that's it, this is what we call the first conditional, right, and this is in the platform section number four, right, that's it, to uh, end up with this, so the section number four, guys, is about simple past, present and future and the second part is this one okay that's it okay Carlita Beatriz don't worry okay so uh, I don't know if you have questions with this topic comments questions with this any questions or something that you don't understand very well and you <coughs> no no okay very nice if you have questions let me know okay no se queden con la duda. Si tiene preguntas o escríbanmelo vía chat, ok, o WhatsApp, and I can help you with this, ok. The idea is that you practice this, ok, and you know how to make it. That's it. So, we're just going to start with this. Uh, ya la, se nos acaba la, la, la semana, right? And this is, guys, I am just presenting this topic because it's, uh, it's, this topic is a little bit confusing, okay? But not difficult, but you need to pay close attention to this, okay? The section number five is what we call, okay, with this one is, I hate working on weekends, okay? This is the topic that we have for section number five. And um, we are going to start using this because tomorrow we start the presentations. So tomorrow we have just little class and then your presentations, right? That's it. So we have here, what do we have here? Gabby, can you please read, Gavita? Okay. Mm -hmm. Eight important job skills. Okay. Read the yeah. questions, please. Okay. Uh, can you use a computer? Mm -hmm. Can you manage other people? Mm -hmm. Are you good at public speaking? Can you teach others who to do things? Mm -hmm. Fine. Can, you, can you solve problems? Do you manage money well? Mm -hmm. Do you work with people? Do you speak other language? Okay, very good. Itzel, are you good at public speaking? 
Be honest. This is about your job, okay? This is about your job. No, te he bien en la, en la iglesia. Yo, ah, no, but in your job, no, la, que el trabajo me apena. Ah, so, this is in your job, okay? Are you good at public speaking? Yes, I do. Ah, okay. Yes, I am. Uh -huh. uh, yes, Remember, I am. Remember, it's the verb to be. Uh -huh. Are. Ah, sorry. Okay. Yes, I am. Okay, don't worry. It's el. Can you use a computer? Yes. Do you speak other languages? No. <laughs> no yet, yeah, no yet. I learn. Ah, no yet. Very good. Nice. <laughs> Do you manage money well? Mm, maybe. Me <laughs> no, there is no maybe answer. <laughs> there is a yes or a no. <laughs> No. <laughs> no, oh my God. Okay, okay, good. Juan Carlos, please. Uh -huh. Juan Carlos, ask, okay, ask three questions to Franklin. Okay, Juan Carlos, choose three questions and ask Franklin, please. Juan Carlos, good morning. Juan Carlos, Juan. Hello. Ahí está Juan Carlos. Hello, Juan Carlos. I think Juan Carlos has problems in the audio, okay? Okay, don't worry, Juan Carlos. Eh, Franklin. Franklin, hello. Franklin. Hi, hi. Hello, morning. Franklin. Okay, ask, ask three questions, please. Ask three questions to Ivan. Okay. Two, three questions. Right. Um, are you good at public speaking? Uh huh. Ivan? Yes, I am. Okay, very good. Excellent. Continue. Um, can you teach other how to do think? Uh -huh. Can you teach how to um no 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 ah okay no. okay no. uh-huh next other question uh other next uh, can you solve problem uh-huh can you solve problems yes yes i am Ah, okay, okay. Ah, very good, very good. Those are guys what we call skills, job skills. When you have a job interview, sometimes they ask you this. Pay attention to the modal. Así como le preguntan, así responda. For example, number one. Vamos, todos ayúdenme. Can you use a computer? ¿Cuál sería la mm. respuesta? Yes, I can. 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 Very good. Can you manage other people? Of course. Yes, 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 I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Of course. <laughs> sure. Uh -huh. Very nice. Are you good at public speaking? Yes, yes, I, am. I, am. yes, yes I, am. I am. Yes, I am. Ah, very good. Yes, I am. Okay. Si no me preguntan con do, no, 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 no. Can you teach others how to do things? No. Yes, I, yes, I, I can. can. Yes, no, I, I can. can. And if it's negative, no, I can't. Can't. Very can't. good. Can you solve problems, guys? Yes, I can. Yes, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Oh, okay, very good. Yes, I can. Do you manage money well? Yes, no, I'm not. Yes, yes I, I do. do. Yes, I yes, do. I, do. I don't. Know. Excellent. Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. Well, las mujeres dicen que podemos. Wow, yes, it's a good skill for a woman. Do you yes, work well with people? Giovanni, do you work well with people? Here, what yes, do you I do? Yes, I, yes do. I do. Very good. Uh -huh. Because the question is with do. Do you speak other languages, guys? I try. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, yet. I study English today. <laughs> oh, in this case, do you speak other languages? What is the correct answer for this? Uh -huh. Exa, yes, for example. No, I yes, do. I do. No, I do. No, I don't. Uh -huh. No, I don't. <laughs> yes, uh -huh. you say, do you speak other languages? Well, I am learning to speak English. Ah, you see? You don't have to say no because you are 
understanding and you are answering. So you know, but you can express it like, oh, I am learning, okay? I, I speak English uh, a little or in a basic intermediate level, I don't know, okay? So why am I emphasizing in the can, are, do, etc.? Because I have this stuff that we are going to practice, okay? This is something that we have, guys. This is how to answer when a person tells you something. For example, en una conversación en español. Exa, don't use English, okay? Español, Exa. Vos sos mi amigo, toda el alma, vea, y yo te digo, hey, Exa, este, no, hombre, fíjate que yo no puedo usar la computadora. Yo te digo eso, Exa. ¿Qué me dirías tú si yo te digo, Exa, no, hombre, viera que uh, no puedo usar la computadora? So, ¿cuál sería tu respuesta? In, 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 in Spanish. Uh -huh. Hello, Exa, can you turn on the, the microphone? Yes, but I, I can hear it this moment. Uh... Oh, there is interruption. Okay, yes. don't worry, don't worry. Okay, don't worry. Okay, le voy a preguntar a Giovanni. Okay, Giovanni, hello. Hello. In Spanish, my friend Giovanni. Ay, no, Giovanni, vieras que no puedo usar la computadora. Como dice ahí el ejemplo, ni yo tampoco, teacher. <laughs> ah, very good. Excellent. When you say eso, quiero que aprendamos hoy. Yo tampoco, teacher. O, o quizás me dice, Yo sí, te enseño si quieres, right? Ajá, uh -huh. this is the stuff here. O vengo yo y le digo a Dalila, ay, Dalila, vieras que, ay, no, soy tan dunda. <laughs> ¿Qué me diría Dalila? Uh, no. <laughs> no, pero. No, teacher, no. Yo te estoy diciendo really? porque algo me pasa. Ay, soy tan dunda, vieras, volví a creer en él. No. <laughs> Ajá. So, ¿qué me dijeras tú? Date cuenta, amiga. Date cuenta, amiga. Vale. Ajá. ¿Usted puede estar de acuerdo conmigo? Es que sí, de verdad que sí soy bien dura. ¿O estás en desacuerdo conmigo? No, 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 no creo, etc. So, in English is similar, guys. When you agree or disagree. Okay, with an opinion of something. Okay, so I want you to pay attention to this one. Read the number one. Carlita, eh, Joanna, please read the sentence number one. I love traveling. I love traveling. Very good. Si vos me decís a mi teacher, me encanta viajar. Oh, y a mí también. Yeah, me too. Ajá, <laughs> uh -huh. miren. Ay, ese me too es lo más sencillo que puede decir alguien, right? Es lo, es lo más um, eh, común. Básico. Ajá, pero en realidad, ya hablando un poquito de más de avanzado el inglés, ya usted ya no va a decir me too. You have to say so do I. Y con eso está diciendo, yo también. Teacher, ¿y de dónde salió ese so? Well, el so es cuando es positive sentence. El do, teacher, ¿de dónde salió el do? Si se fija, la oración es en presente. Yo les hago la broma a mis alumnos que el do está aquí, donde dice, I love traveling. Ahí está el do. Y solo los inteligentes lo vemos, lo ven, lo podemos ver. Es color, color yellow, es color yellow, ajá, es color yellow. Quiere decir que el do. Qué feo. Oh, qué feo es. El... Vea. Ok, el sí, ustedes me tienen que decir, yes, teacher, it's big, the do is very nice, ajá. Entonces, ¿dónde está el do? El do lo van a poner cuando la oración sea in present, ¿ok? Si yo les digo, ay, guys, eh, va, las chicas, 
I love King Flip. <risa> Díganme, ay, yo también. What? What? Claro que no. Ah, you disagree. So, entonces dígame eso. Disagree. Dígame. I don't. I don't. Really? really? I, I hate him. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Oh, come on, teacher. I don't like him. He's very ugly. I don't know. When you disagree, si está, mire, si ya está desacuerdo, usted no va a usar el so sino que va a usar expressions like this, ¿ok? Pero imagínense que a Dalila le encanta también ese color de piel tan bronceado, ¿verdad, right, Dalila? So, color centavo. Ah, color centavo. Negro. <laughs> I love, eh? I, if I say, for example, I, para jugar con otro, I like, ok, King Flip. Creo que así se escribe, right? Color, color scent. Color, the scent color, ajá. Uh -huh. So if you see here, I like. Ahí va metido el do. Pero no entiendo, teacher, yo no lo miro. Va, haga la pre esto pregunta. Do you like? Ah, ocupa do. Entonces, cuando usted esté de acuerdo, va a decir, so, ¿cómo me va a decir Dalila? Si me dice, ah, a mí también me gusta. ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? Yo le digo, I like him flip. What is the answer? De, 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 usted que está de acuerdo conmigo. So do I. So do I. Ajá, uh -huh. that's it. Pero si ya yo les digo, ok, look at this. Vengo yo y les digo, ay, I am very stressed, guys. Ay, no se imaginan. I'm very stressed. Y Gaby me dice, ay, yo también, teacher. Ya no me va a decir, so do I. No. ¿Qué verbo estoy usando ahora? El verbo to be. Ajá. Entonces, so el, el to be, usted responde con, so, so I. I. That's it. Y esto es lo que quiero que se fijen porque vamos a estar haciendo esto y esto, chicos, se practica oralmente. This is not written because when you write, I mean, this is not written. This is when you speak to someone, okay? So this is the practice that we are going to have here. So tomorrow, please pay attention to the verb. Si escuchan que uso verbo drink, drive, jump, Travel, go, sleep, ah, do, easy. Se escuchan que ocupo I am, I'm not, she's, ah, you have to use am in the answer. So, am, y ahora diga am, ya no voy a decir am. Am, am. so am I, repeat, so am I. So am, so am I. So am I. Uh -huh. And so do I. Okay? So this is when we say yo también. Para ya no decir me too, me too, me too, me too. Okay? So you say this. ¿Y cuándo lo voy a usar? Pues, teacher. Cuando usted está de acuerdo con alguien. Y yo le digo, ay, guys, I like English. No se van a quedar callados, así como ahorita yo me siento rara cuando no me contesta. So do I. Ajá, y Carlita me dice, hey, so do I, teacher. Do you study? Oh, no, I teach. Oh, oh good. Right? This is the conversation that flows when you use this, ¿ok? Alguien está con usted, una amiga, y le dice, ay, que me encantan esta, esta hamburguesa de aquí. O, ay, a mí también. Son mis favoritas. Similar en English. ¿Cómo sería ahí si yo les digo, oh, I, I, listen, I am in love with these hamburgers. Oh, I so am I. in love with these hamburgers. Carlita. So am I. Oh, y ahí usted me pregunta, how often do you come here? I don't know. And then oh. we have a conversation. Great. Very good. Excellent. So you see? This is what we have to practice, but this is when you 
speak, ¿ok? Pero obviamente para practicar vamos a hacer primero la, la parte escrita, right? Ok, and then we're going to practice orally because you have to pay attention, ok? Si le dice la oración con do, perdón, con verb be, you answer with the verb be. If they use any other verb in present, you answer with do. Si le preguntan con can, va a responder con can, ok? Oh, so tomorrow we are going to do that. I just wanted to introduce it because tomorrow we have one class, but it's short. Class and presentations, okay? So tomorrow we have some people's presentation. So I'm so happy to listen to you tomorrow, okay? That's it. And the other ones are for Friday, right? That's it. Questions, guys, so far? Preguntitas, dudas, no? No. Okay, no, no. well, tomorrow we're going to practice. Don't worry. This is just introduction, right? Okay, everybody ready with your microphones on because this time for the attendance. Yesenia Beta Barca Vasquez, absent. Carla Beatriz Aguilar. Present. Excellent. Veronica Beatriz Celso. Absent. Okay, is uh, Osmani at Saúde León. Present. Excellent. Uh, Vania Itzel Deras. I'm here. Very good. Blanca Estela Marroquín, she has a permission because she is at Seguro Social. Franklin de Jesús Martínez. Present. Excellent. Carla Joana Martínez. Present. Giovanni Alberto Orantes. Present. Gabriela Beatriz Reyes. Present. Dalila Estela Silva. Present. María Araceli González. Present. Cine Elizabeth Mejía Absent, Sofía Guadalupe Hernández. Present. Juan Carlos Molina. Oh, Juan Carlos. Ah, well, Juan Carlos, very good. Juan Carlos is here. Eh, hey, Juliana. Uy, la primera vez en cuántos meses. Claudia Elena Cazón, absent. Brenda Lucía Rosales, eh, absent. Ok, Herbert Iván Martínez. Present, teacher. Karen Lizet Reyes. Present teacher. Karen eh, el, eh, Lice Reyes, Carmen Elena Cornejo. Present. Excelente, Elenita en Francisco Isaac Cabrera. Present. Ok, very good. Well, my friends, see you tomorrow and thank you very much for being here in my class once again. Ok. See Goodbye, you everybody. See you. Have a wonderful Bye. morning. Great Bye, day. Teacher. Bye. Thank you. You too, Bye. guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.